Gandhi gave a call that all Indians must start wearing khadi. But do you think it was possible for everybody to wear khadi? No, it was not. It could be because of the regional disparity. It could be because of the religion. It could be because of the economic condition of the people. And here are few glaring examples wherein the people were true patriots, Gandhians, but they did not wear khadi. For example, Motilal Nehru gave up his three piece of suit and started wearing dhoti and kurta, but his dhoti and kurta were not made from the coarse cloth. It was a very fine cloth from which his attire was made. Then there is Baba Ambedkar. For centuries, the depressed class of the society had been humiliated and were not told to dress up in the style in which the other Indians dressed up. So they wanted to show that they were equal or more than equal and thus they never gave up this particular section of the society, the western style of dressing up. B. R. Ambedkar always dressed up in the western style of dressing. Next is certain women found it very expensive to drape themselves in khadi. For example, a women from Maharashtra wrote to Gandhi that I love to wear khadi and in my region we wear a 9 yards of sari which works out very expensive in khadi and thus my husband is not able to afford it. And my elders will not allow me to wear five and a half meter of sari, which meant that I am forced to discard khadi. But this does not mean that she was not a patriot, she was not a Gandhian, she was not a nationalist. But by merely, merely wearing khadi, you do not become a true Indian. There were certain examples of Sarojini Naidu and Kamla Nehru who wore colorful saris and did not wear the coarse khadi saris. These were the examples wherein even the great and also the common people of India did not wear khadi because they did not or they could not afford it, because they did not like it or for other various reasons. Well, Cloth as such has been a very special as far as the people are concerned. It shows their taste of living. It shows that from which place they come. It shows what they are. What are they protesting at? Because it can be used even for resistance. It can be used as self-reliance. So cloth as such the history of clothing has been a great history which is almost equivalent to the freedom movement of India because it has taken ups and downs. It has had the ups and the downs as I said but has now come to a fair conclusion. Thank you. That was all about your chapter.